Good morning, investors and traders. In today's segment, we'll be talking about Bitcoin's price, which is looking bearish. We'll be discussing why it has become bearish and any fundamentals behind that, such as which can really support the bull case, not the bearish case, because the bear case, to make that bear case is quite easy to do that. And which way the price is really going to go from here up or to the downside. So we'll be discussing all of that. Before I do it, it is important for me to go through this brief disclaimer, which is right in front of you. Now, as always, guys, a little bit about myself. I come with a wealth of a 15 years of trading experience. During this time period, I have worked as a hedge fund trader for Bank of New York Mellon, as an equity trader with Bank of America, and currently providing services as a chief analyst with our trade. Now, the platform which is right in front of you this is your mt4 platform and we are looking at the daily time frame as you can see from here as always we have a three different moving averages to begin with we have our 50 day simple moving average this is our 100 day simple moving average and then you have your 200 day simple moving average the reason behind putting for me putting these moving average on that is because this help us in doing two things number one it help us to, de to determine the trend meaning is the price trading to the upside or is it trading to the downside if the price is trading below this line just like over here it confirm us that the bears are in control of the price however if the price is trading above this line like over here then we know bulls are trade are in control and over here the bears are in control of the price now something also quite important in relation to that as well is that when the price is trading close how far or how close the price is trading to these moving averages now by that i mean over here the price was trading very close to its 50 day simple moving average meaning that the the average price for the last 50 day is very very close now to its moving average and this confirms us that okay perhaps the price is likely to move away from its mean which it seems like that it is doing that right now now if you are wondering what is the two what are the the two uh, red lines over here what do they represent over here uh, this is your support area something that we mentioned in our previous videos quite a lot that this is an area where the price comes and then it kind of moves back to the upside and just like how it did over here then the price came back into this area then it moved back to the upside and right over here when the price went close enough to its 50 day simple moving average what we discussed in quite a lot of great detail over here was let me just mark that on the chart what we discussed um let's bring out the green color um if i can over here what we discussed over here was that the price is more likely to move to the upside because the bulls bullish signs were started to emerge but that bullish trend never happened because then we did say that the price has failed to break above in these three days above this moving average now the price is more likely to break to the downside and now that is exactly what is happening in relation to the price action price is moving to the downside now of course if you like the content guys please smash that like button because that really sort of help us on google's algorithm and of course markets do change and that means that you know you need to be aware of the most up-to-date analysis and like the way that i am about to say that where is the next support zone so you know the support zones that keep changing or the buy zones keep changing so for that it is important for you guys for your own sake that you subscribe to the channel so you know where are the next important support zones just like over here we kind of mentioned now when we look at the price action the next important support zone is right over here it is this area where we did see the massive massive buy zone the, the massive sub buy pressure coming in and we kind of mentioned this one again in our previous analysis as well so i am focused on this particular zone 
However, there is another zone that I am also looking at as well. And that particular area is just right over here. So we, I do expect the price to come into this if it breaks this particular area, then I expect the price to come into this area of support. When we look at the RSI, the RSI has also started to lose momentum. As you can see right from here, it has failed to break above the previous highs. Now we are going to see that if this particular area is going to be challenged by the RSI or not, because if it breaks, then certainly we are moving to the downside. We are moving into this, these two areas, possibly this one more than anything else. So in terms of a short trade, you can certainly place a short trade as of now by putting the stop loss above this 50 day simple moving average that 36,000 sort of a price level or even the high of yesterday or the high of the previous day just the high right over here and then shoot for the price action to go towards the next important support zone so you can potentially short bitcoin just right putting the stop loss over here and target this area not this area really or at least the lows of this particular candle because under those circumstances your risk under the current one really isn't uh, either, uh, i mean it's, it's not the best risk to reward ratio but it is there for you guys because right now your risk is going to be just this much and uh, because that is where your stop loss is going to be and your reward is kind of one to one over here as well that is your, where you will take your first position off so let's say if you have two bitcoins you will take one off and then you will wait for the second one to come into this area so you have that sort of a risk to reward ratio so once again guys if you like the content please remember to smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as we will continue to put more great content here and thank you for watching we'll see you guys next time